One of the projects in this course is the Environmental Service Activity, or ESA for short. So to navigate to it, your side panel might look a little bit differently, but I'm sure you can find it. I'm going to head uh, to the Projects folder, and I'm going to head to the folder with the Environmental Service Activity. For the most part, this project runs throughout the entire semester with two deadlines. And each deadline is related to doing one of the two activities. So in short, the purpose of this project is to get you guys out in your communities and doing something to give back to the community. Uh, so more or less volunteer service, but volunteer service related to the environment. Yes, we can learn about all these things that we can do to combat uh, different issues that are happening in the environment, but I don't want to just talk about it. I want to actually do something about it. And not just me, I do a lot of um, environmental service, but I also want you guys to see what's out there. And if you never worked with that organization again, okay, well, I tried. But my hope, my goal, is that you meet some people or at least learn about the organizations in your community, and maybe you'll keep working with them in the future. So the first thing I'm going to open up is the project overview a handout, and I'm going to kind of switch between Blackboard and that handout. So this is the general overview of what it is. More or less, you're going to be doing two activities during the semester, uh, which is why there are two deadlines. One kind of in the early-ish part of the semester and one later-ish in the semester. Now, the very first thing is you need to choose an activity. I will actually be giving you a list of activities. You do not need to go and find these yourself. I am looking all through Montgomery County for activities that are going on with various organizations. So for example, uh, the list is kind of short now, but don't worry, there'll be lots of additions to this list during the semester, is we have one here and have one here. You can click on more information to go to that organization's website. You can choose whatever you want to. Something to keep in mind, though, is that one, I am not the one running these, or at least I'm not the one running most of them. I actually do run a couple activities myself uh, because the Adopt-A-Road program, Montgomery College has a road in the Adopt-A-Road program that I manage. So I actually host some myself, but for the most part, these are other organizations. This is Montgomery Parks. This is a local nature conservancy. So you can ask me all the questions you want to, but I'm just going to tell you, go to their website, email the person on file, because I, I don't know. I have worked with some of these organizations, so I can give you an idea of what's going to happen. But ultimately, don't contact me saying you're going to do it. Contact them. So just letting you know this is going to be a list. It's going to be constantly updated. If you happen to know of something going on in your community that I don't have on this list, definitely let me know. I'll take a look at it, I'll review it, and if it's accepted, then I'll add it to this list. So definitely let me know if there's something you want me to add, uh, but I try to keep this list pretty updated and pretty substantial. So as I mentioned before, you'll be doing two activities during the semester, and although there's two different deadlines, you can submit this project whenever you want to before the deadline. You could complete both your activities in the first week of school. You can submit them the first week of school and be completely done with this project. So I give you these deadlines to help you manage your time, but you can complete these at any time before the deadlines. And I highly encourage you to do so. Take advantage of the beautiful weekends that we have or the beautiful weekdays that we have. And don't be stuck waiting to the last weekend and it happens to be rainy or snowy. So really be sure to plan your time well so that you have uh, pretty much the most enjoyable time uh, that you can. And then finally, while you're at this activity, be sure to take pictures uh, to show that you are actually there. You just telling me you did it does not show me that. Uh, so take this opportunity to have fun with it and kind of document something that you did. Now, once you do that activity, I uh, want you guys to write up a post in the discussion board so that you can share with the class as well as sharing with me what it is you went out and did. I'll let you read this more on your own time, but overall, you're going to post a thread in the appropriate discussion board. So going back over to Blackboard, it's in this ESA folder. We have our project overview, the service activities list, and then links to both the first ESA and the second ESA. Now for these write-ups, uh, you do need to create a thread first before you can see everyone else's, similar to the other discussion boards in this class. So in your thread, essentially, I just want to know 
kind of write a diary entry more or less. How did you like it or how did you not like it? Uh, did you go with anyone? Did you get a lot done? Did it not get a lot done? Did it suck because it was really cold? I don't care what you write. Just be truthful because it's, it's interesting to know, right? Other students are going to be reading this and if you say, oh, I did this one event with this one person and it was poorly organized, that might tell other students, okay, maybe I should avoid that. Or vice versa, maybe you did something and it was really freaking awesome. Other students might want to get involved. So first, kind of like this diary entry type thing. Second is also explaining why is this important. You know, you went and pulled invasive species. Well, what's so wrong about that plant? What does it do to affect the environment? And how did you help to um, remediate that? Now, don't just say, oh, this guy said this was awesome. You can include that, but I also want you to do some research as well. You only need one source, but you can include more if you'd like to that is reputable and non-biased, or at least as non-biased as possible. So going to iloveplants.com, probably kind of biased. So just find a good source that kind of supports, you know, what you did. Why is that invasive species bad? And why is picking up trash good? Things like that. And then finally, tell us a little bit about the organization. So who is the one organizing it? Why do they organize it? How long have they been around for? So the goal isn't to just do this thing for the environment, but also to learn about the organizations that are leading these kinds of efforts. And then finally, uh, be sure to include pictures. You took pictures as it is, so include them in your post as well. There is another video in the Blackboard How To's about how you can attach photos without them being like crazy huge and like taking up the whole screen, which if you've been in other discussion boards and other classes, you may have experienced that before. Then finally, once you've made your own post, be sure to read a couple of other students. I'm only requiring you to read two other students uh, and to leave replies onto two other students' posts. This is only worth five points, and I recognize that there's not going to be much to talk about. You might just say like, wow, that's really awesome. I'd really like to get involved. Who would I talk to? It's not going to be some substantial reply that you have research to or anything like that. That's not what I'm expecting. That's why I have just two to four sentences, because I recognize that you're not going to have this really lengthy reply to someone. But try to make it as genuine as possible and, and ask follow up questions. You can also get extra credit for replying to more than two students for being the first person to reply to someone because, hey, everyone wants a little bit of love. Uh, and then also spreading out your replies. So this is really meant to encourage you to not just do this all at the last minute, but really start a conversation. And finally, you can get even more extra credit in this project. For the first one, bring people with you. You don't have to do this activity by yourself. Bring your family, bring your kids, bring your partner, bring whoever you want to, your neighbors. You can also bring other classmates, whether they're in the online class or the face-to-face -face class. Uh, you can earn extra credit for the number of people you bring. When you go to do your second ESA, you can get extra credit by doing a different type of activity. So if you did a road cleanup for your first activity and you go and pull invasive species for your second activity, that's a pretty different thing and you would get extra credit for doing something different. This is really meant for me to entice you just to learn more about our environment and to learn about different organizations. And then finally, you're going to have a huge long list of things to choose from. You need to do two for the project, but if you do more than two, you can actually get extra credit for those. All you have to do is just take pictures and show up and write a couple sentences. More information about that is in the extra credit folder. So lots of opportunities to gain extra credit and lots of opportunities for not only you to get involved with your community, uh, but also to get family, friends, classmates involved as well. If you guys have any questions, please just let me know, but I hope you guys enjoy this project as much as I do.